Maybe The Hangover Part 3 should take place in Alcoholics Anonymous. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Hangover Part 2. All I wanted was a bachelor brunch. Chow? What are you doing here? What is my plus one? We had a sick night, bitches. Whoa. <laughs> Check your pockets. There might be clues. Chiang Mai Monastery. I don't remember any of this. What is this, a P.F. Chang's? Where the hell are you? We're in Bangkok. Holla, hideous squala. Two years ago, The Hangover woke up in theaters and quickly found itself at the top of the charts. Todd Phillips' high-concept comedy is the highest-grossing R-rated comedy of all time and the third-highest-grossing overall R-rated movie of all time. So obviously Hollywood wanted another night out on the town. But doing a second act for one of the most original comedies of all time can be tricky, especially when under the intense magnifying lens of audience anticipation. Just ask Ivan Reitman. So Phillips, who personally made $35 million off of The Hangover by trading in his salary and gross participation to become an equity investment partner in the film, is playing it safe for round two by going with the same basic high concept. The wolf pet gets together for another wedding, this time stews, and after another crazy night of drinking, this time in Bangkok, Thailand, they wake up to discover another wild animal, this time a monkey, and that one of their group is missing again, this time the bride's brother, played by director Ang Lee's son. However, in trying to secure another celebrity cameo on the level of Mike Tyson, the film ran into trouble. Phillips cast Mel Gibson in the role of a crazed Bangkok tattoo artist with Warner Brothers' full approval, yet found that the cast and crew were unwilling to work with the infamous star. So out of respect to his co-workers, Phillips had to withdraw the offer from Gibson and offered it to Liam Neeson instead. However, reshoots caused the tattoo artist's role to be recast a third time, and you'll be seeing Nick Cassavetes in the movie. Yes, just as in this intro, that cameo drama has taken up a large part of The Hangover Part 2's publicity. And also making headlines is Bridesmaids, a movie that many are saying is the funniest R-rated comedy since The Hangover. So let's go find out if The Hangover sequel gives audiences a buzz or a headache. Is this movie too similar to the first one? Um, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of similar, but um, it's better. The plot was so yeah, similar. It was, yeah, it was similar, kind of similar. Did that keep you? Did that affect your enjoyment? A little uh, bit, yes. Yeah? Very, very much. But it wouldn't be, the, it wouldn't be a movie. Sorry. Yeah. The sequel goes in similar. That's what you expect me to go see Hangover. That's okay. So did you feel you got what you wanted? Yeah, it's exactly what I expected. It being a, in a different country and, and having a barrage of different characters, it actually made it better than the original. Oh, really? So, yeah, actually. Did you like the film overall? Yeah. What did you think overall? I liked it. first one was better, but this one had some good parts also. Do you think this second movie carries on the legacy, or do you think it hurts the first movie? Um, I don't think it hurts it. You know, because it's pretty much the same thing. It makes you know how, how good the first movie was. Oh, that's right. Yeah. How, now how good yeah. you had it, right? I what are you coming with expectations? Who were you the most excited to see come back in this movie? Oh, Alan. Right. Fat Jesus! From the first movie, yeah? You liked him? Yeah. Definitely Fat Jesus. Yeah. yeah. I love that name. Chow. Chow. Chow, yeah. Who were you excited? Oh. I like the new monkey that was in it. That was funny. Yeah? The ah, was funny. is he an honorary member of the Wolf Pack? Yes. Yeah? It's my tattoo. No, right. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah. Uh, can I see? Oh, like that's that great. How was Bangkok? It was beautiful. It had quite a reputation before this movie. Uh, yeah. Do you think this movie will yeah. help it or hurt it? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's definitely going to hurt it. I Bangkok would, I wouldn't go there. Oh, why not? No, no? no, no, no. It's too crazy? Bangkok was interesting. I'm going to go there someday. Oh, yeah? Do yeah, you think you'll have as crazy a time? As... I don't want to have that crazy of a time. You know, they have a very big cameo, okay, from uh, Nick Cassavetes as the tattoo artist. Yeah. A lot of hoopla over that. Was it a good cameo? I don't know who that nigga is. The guy who's the tattoo artist, was he funny? Uh, yeah, I guess he was I I mean not as funny as me. Okay. <laughs> so there's a lot of male frontal nudity in this movie, I hear. Yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> kind of weirded out by that. Yeah, right? yeah. They, they had a lot of, yeah, I had a lot of nudity. Too much? Or just the right amount? No, uh, not too much. I could have done without that, but um, uh, so, it being in it, it still made it It's great. The Hangover Part yeah. 2. Of course, right? really, what are you expecting? So The Hangover was successful largely because of repeat business. Will you see The Hangover Part 2 again? Yes, I would. In theaters? Yes. Definitely. In Definitely. theaters? Definitely. I would. Um, Maybe. Depends. I would. Depends on who I go with. I wouldn't see this one again. Oh, you wouldn't? No. Go oh. see it in the cinema, no. I'd buy it. Oh, okay. But you wouldn't go and see it in theaters again? Why wouldn't you see it again? Because, like I said before, it's just too predictable. It's probably the only time. You know. Okay. All right. Why wouldn't you see this one again? 
I don't know. I just like I said, the first one was a little better. What do you give the movie on a one to ten? I give the movie a eight and a half, nine. Twelve. A nine. A nine? No, I give nine. it an eight. eight. An eight? What yeah, you about an 8.5. Eight, nine, seven? I give it about a 7.5. So it might be more of the same, but overall, people are okay with that as they give The Hangover Part 2 an eight. And be sure to check out Blackberry's The Hot Spot, a new show here on YouTube, where I'm proud to be their animated movies and comic book correspondent. I'm Grace Randolph, reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.